how to set up shipping on Etsy with Printify or Printful. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. If you have not heard about Printify or Printful, it is basically a print-on-demand platform that allows you to create designs and throw them directly onto your e-commerce store, such as Etsy, just like this. And you can actually sell your own designs anywhere in the world. So, before you do that, you're going to have to set up your store. You're going to have to have some products. And then you can set up your billing, your payment methods, and your shipping. Shipping is important because a customer may pay for shipping or they can be offered shipping for free. If a customer is offered shipping for free, they're more likely to purchase the product. However you can put your shipping costs included in your pricing. So that is a strategic way of pushing your products and including shipping and telling your customer that the shipping is for free. So I'm going to show you how to set it up today. And here we are on Etsy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Printful. So on this homepage, once you have set up your account, you can go all the way to the bottom and you can tap on shipping. And on this page, you can select sell if it's not already highlighted and you can continue down to where it says see shipping rates. Now, what it's going to basically do is allow you to view what it's going to cost to ship your product from one place to another, depending on what country you're in and depending on what country you want to sell your goods in. Right, so that basically brings you to this page over here and it says see shipping rates for your selling region. So here you can basically figure out what it's going to cost to ship certain items. So let us look for the country of origin here. So this will be where you're shipping from and to. And then at the top, you can actually choose what item you are shipping. So let's say, for example, we're shipping a duffel bag or we're shipping mouse pads, laptop cases, whatever the case may be. And you select the item and then it has a period of which it'll take to ship that is two to five business days and then it has the single product price and that is seven dollars 99 cents and then the additional product if you're having more than one product sent that is what it will cost to send the second product additionally so as you can see here it will change according to the product that you enter here and it will also change according to the country that you enter here. So these will all change because depending on where you're shipping from, that's how long it'll take to get there. And so once you've basically outlined those bits and pieces, this page is dedicated to giving you basically a overview of what you can actually do with the shipping. Then we're going to jump over onto Etsy. So this is what the homepage looks like. And you can go up to the top right hand side and say shop manager. Now, once you're in shop manager, this is basically your dashboard where you can manage your shop. So let us go onto the left hand side and we are going to start with listings. Once you go into listings, you can see all the products that you've got listed. So I've got a few products here that I've created just for example purposes. So as you can see, this one over here, all you have to do is click on the little icon in the bottom right and you can now say edit. And so this is the page that you will find yourself on. So here you can change the about the price and inventory the variations, the details, and right at the end, you can change the settings of your shipping. So now you tap that and it'll bring you to the bottom of the page in the shipping section. So it says set clear and realistic shipping expectations for shoppers by providing an estimated processing time. 
So basically, this is setting your shipping profile for this particular item. So what you can do here is you can say change or edit. So I've already got some details in here. So we're going to just say edit and this will edit your actual shipping profile. So right here, you can now change the profile name and you can name that whatever it is that you need to name it. So you can name it from US to US or US to UK, whatever it is. And then the country of origin, this is now where you shipping your item from. So you can change what it is that you need to change there. Wherever the item is coming from, that is where you select it. Then you need the origin zip code. So this is where you're actually shipping from. And wherever it is that you're shipping from, you need to have that code and it needs to be correct. Then it says processing time. Once a buyer has placed the order, how long does it take you to prepare, package and put it in the mail? So right over here, you can either choose a range that they have given you or you can choose a custom range. So if you choose a custom range, you can then say whatever it is, two to five days or three to seven days. Then you can also toggle between business days and weeks. So depending on if it's going to take a little bit longer, depending on where it's coming from and where it's going, you can enter that in there. Then it says standard shipping. So only shoppers in countries you ship to will see your listing in search. So basically, if you're only shipping from the US to the US, then if somebody's in the UK, they're not going to see your listing. And if you're not shipping to the UK, then it's kind of pointless having that setting turned on because if somebody's viewing your product in the UK and they can't actually order it, then it's completely pointless. So here's where you set that up. You can have different countries and their different shipping services. So right here, I've got United States and then we've got the shipping service. So it says here, shipping service, along with your processing time, when you're shipping from and any carrier delays, we see helps as to calculate an estimated delivery time. So right over here, we can just select the tab and it gives you the actual services, the shipping services that you can use. So, of course, you can choose whichever it is that you would prefer. So, let's say we do this UPS ground one to five days and that is now it removes that shipping delivery day and business period business day period because it has its own delivery times right over there then it says what you'll charge so we can either say a fixed price and then you go this is your price for shipping and then you can enter in there what it's going to cost to ship an additional product now if you're going back to this page over here where they're basically showing you what it's going to cost to ship you can see for example the usa let's use that as an example you can see what it says here so a single product cost four dollars 69 and so you can then enter that into there and the additional price for an additional item you can enter that amount in at the additional item and so that's what it'll cost to ship from your origin country, which is the US, as we've set up here, to a US. So you can now set up what it's going to cost to ship to Australia. You can use whatever it is that you need to here. Um, of course, the quicker your products are delivered, the more expensive it's going to be. So it depends on how you want to do so and what you want to do. You can, however, change your, your country of origin. So if you want to actually produce your products in Australia and send your products in Australia, that is a possibility so that your shipping is cheaper. However, you will need to create a new shipping profile for that. So once that is done, basically, you can define as many countries as you'd like. Once you're done with that, you can just say 
little X at the top, and then you can say publish changes. Once those changes have been published, we can go over to orders and shipping. And this is another area where you can edit your shipping details. So once you're in orders and shipping, you can now see right at the top here, your completed orders. And on the right hand side, it says shipping settings. So here, basically, it's not per product, but it is actually your shipping profile. So right over here, you can see that this is the one that we actually edited now. And you can go ahead and you can edit each and every one of these accordingly and in the same way. So you just tap edit and it'll show you your shipping profile. And you can change the settings that you need to change right over there. So, again, it says country of origin. And you can change your country of origin, your postal code, and so forth. And all the details accordingly into the different countries that you need to send your items. And there you go. That is how you set up your shipping. Once all your shipping is set up, your products are ready to sell. And you can actually start selling and making money. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a like. If you like the content that we produce, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.